Hello everyone, Elwakil here again. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, you will watch how I created this really simple prototype in Figma. This is a speed process, but I will be sure to drop instructions on how you can achieve this seamlessly and easily using your Figma design tool. So, let's get started. First and foremost, import the pictures you're going to use for the design. I picked these images of Pinterest and then I used Photoshop to remove the backgrounds. So these are what we're going to use for the design. Now after you've imported your images, you can go ahead and jump, jump onto your um, iPhone artboard or, or frame in Figma and then let's start designing. So I'm going to add a couple of grid lines just to guide you know our design and make sure that um, all our elements are aligned smoothly. So to do that you just hop onto the properties panel and add a couple of columns that you're gonna use. You can use any measurement for these and then after that we'll go ahead and create a navigation bar at the bottom of the page in order to um, help our users move around the application that we're designing today now keep in mind this is just a prototype and we're not designing the entire application we're just designing a couple of screens in order to show um, functionality so i'm importing a couple of icons that i use from a plugin called iconify on figma you can search for it if you do not have it already I'm going to leave the name for this plugin in the description box. It's called Iconify. So you can search a couple of icons there and then import them into your designs. So now we have arranged our navigation bar at the bottom of the frame. So the next thing we're going to do is jump on and create the other elements for the design, which is the cards that are going to display the smoothies for this particular application. At the top, I included a header called smoothies just to show what page we are on. And I'm going to use the primary color to highlight on the navigation bar as to which page we are on. So go ahead and create four different rectangles of the same size just like this make sure the size is the same those are what's going to be the cards that we're going to use to place each of our smoothies and give them the names and subsequently navigate from there to their individual pages so align your smoothie pictures just like this on your frame and make sure everything is centralized um, from each other from top to bottom you can do that by using the align tools on the properties panel after that we are going to duplicate the rectangle behind and reduce the size you can use the ruler just as i included in the screen and then send the bigger rectangles to the back so we're going to give the smaller rectangles the same color as the drinks or the smoothies that we have on the foreground just to make everything a little bit eye catchy give it a little bit of color to make it pop and after we're done with that i'm going to include some text um, that are going to be the name of the drinks or smoothies that we're displaying on this particular application
now that that is done i'm going to duplicate my frame and start um, designing the other frames which are going to be the individual screens to display more information about each of the smoothies that we have on the previous frame So to make each page unique, I'm going to give the background the same color as whatever drink that we are going to be displaying on that particular page. So for this one, I'm going to make my background orange and make my text white. So I'm going to bring down this text and then adjust the size of the smoothie image that we have here, make it a little bit a little bit bigger and then I also increase the size of my text to make it more readable since we're not going to be displaying much information here only what um, the smoothie is about so now I'm going to replace the bell icon that we have at the top with a back button that we can use to navigate back to our previous screen each time that we need to do that so I'm using the same plugin that I used earlier as you can see Next, I'm going to duplicate this text here and add a price tag for the smoothie that is on display. And after that is done, I'm going to jump outside of my frame and design a call to action button that allows users to order this particular drink um, if they need to. So a white background for the button and an orange text for it. So I'm going to name this frame orange and then I duplicate it four times or three times rather and then um, make the screens for the other smoothies that we have on board. So now we are done with editing our individual frames, I'm going to select each of the items on the first frame and group them. You can do that by using keyboard shortcut command G on Mac and I'm going to prototype. Use, you can use the same settings I have as I have displayed on the current screen for your prototypes so that you get the same effect as me.